Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, turn Arrow, the uh, Arrow interface introduced in Windows Vista and Windows 7. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, uh, it will add desktop effects. And uh, we'll open a couple of windows here just to show you. And you can have things like the Flip 3D interface and so on. Um, if you go down to command, if you type in command like CMD, press enter and type in net stop UXSMS, you receive an error. Access denied. That's because the command prompt is not open as administrator. So we'll close this down. Back to the start menu, type in CMD again. This time right click on it, go up and select run as administrator, accept the UAC prompt to continue, and this time we'll type the same thing in, net stop UXSMS, and you can see that the service is stopped, down here it looks a little plain compared to what uh, the arrow interface has, and I can't uh, use the flip uh, 3D function. So to turn it back on, in administrative command prompt, you just type net start UX SMS. And that's started up. And then again, now we can we have our thrip, flip 3D or whatever you want to call it back. So we'll close this and close these windows down. And we'll bring up uh, Notepad. And we're going to type in the same, whoops, <laughs> sorry, we're going to type in the same thing, net stop UX SMS. We're going to save it as, save as, this is important. Uh, whoops, I'll go to the desktop, where's desktop, okay. Now, file type, select all files, just to make it easier. And we'll call this arrow X for turning it off and dot CMD for command line script. And you click save. Now leave notepad open. We'll just drag this and highlight this, I mean, and copy. Select new, paste, and just put in, instead of stop, we'll put in start. Again, file save as all files. I'll just call it arrow dot cmd command script. Save. So now we have two plain looking command prompts. If I click on them, they won't they just they don't run. Arrow doesn't turn off. Again I have to go to run as administrator, accept C prompt, and it stops. And again, turn it back on, run as administrator, UAC, and it's starting again. Now, obviously, if you don't have UAC turned on, this is not a problem. Um, but uh, I recommend that most people should have it on. Okay, so a way to uh, work around the UAC prompt is to go to task scheduler or task manager task scheduler again another UAC prompt continue and we want to create a task not a not basic task but create task and to turn arrow off we just say no arrow remember the name no arrow uh, you can name it anything you want, just remember what it is. And the magic part here is run with highest privileges. Ignore the triggers, uh, that's for setting up a time instance. We just want to go to Actions, New, Start a Program, or it says Program slash Script here. You can do other things like send email, display a message. We're just going to start a program. Click Browse, go to your desktop. We want to turn arrow off 
and that was the arrow X command script and you select OK and OK again wait for that to there OK certain so now we're going to create another task we'll just call it arrow run with highest privileges that's very important or it won't work actions again browse for and on our desktop, just the arrow command. OK, general, OK, now we can close this down. Now let's right click on the desktop, select new, shortcut. This is kind of, I'll write this down in the description, but this is a little hard to remember. Is uh, SCH for schedule, tasks, space, slash, run space slash tn <laughs> uh, which stands for task name and no arrow next uh, you can name it anything you want I'll call it arrow and capital X finish now we'll do the same thing to turn arrow back on. New shortcut. Schedule SCH tasks. Run. Task name. Oh, remember quotes. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that. You had to put the task name in quotes. And that was arrow in this case. Next. And we'll just call it arrow. Now this is an interesting thing. Uh, hopefully this works out right. Uh, I want to turn arrow off. Okay, there won't, there shouldn't be any command prompt. I mean the UAC prompt. There, arrow's turned off. Turn arrow back on. No UAC prompt whatsoever. You can uh, right click on these if you want and give it a uh, an icon, uh, such as anything. Pick anything you want. Apply and oops. Properties again. Change icon. And that anything again. There. Now the main reason I wanted to do this is uh, Windows Media Center was stressing out my graphics card for some reason and I was looking for a way to turn off um, arrow, but there's no in the default program itself, Windows Media Center, Properties, Compatibility, there's no way to turn off Arrow Desktop Composition. It's just grayed out. So I made a script in the Task Scheduler. So when I open Windows Media Center, um, it turns Arrow off and actually turns off the taskbar and a couple of other things. I can maybe put another tutorial. So open this up. Arrow Desktop is stopping. It should shut down the there taskbar is closed. And there's what there's the Windows Media Center. We'll just go down to a small smaller view. And we'll just close that. And I have scripts to turn this back on. Which uh will turn my uh arrow interface back on and sidebar and everything. So I hope you found this uh, useful, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.